Are we live? Yeah. Hey gang, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you three steps that's gonna guarantee you failure in lead generation. Let me repeat that one more time. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna reveal to you three secrets that I've seen done over and over by so many students, including myself when I first started in high school, that's gonna guarantee you failure when you're trying to do lead generation. Now, as I what I what I try to do, I try to take complex stuff and really simplify it that anybody can understand it, okay? And that's why I explained to you guys before that real estate investing has three propellers. Okay? Propeller number one is lead generation. Propeller number two is conversion. And propeller number three is called your exit strategy. And now today what I'm gonna talk about is propeller number one, which is called lead generation. And then in this topic, I wanna to talk about three major mistakes, three propellers again, that is gonna determine if you have lead generation success. Okay, so let's dive into it and pull the curtains back. Number one is having marketing systems. Okay, and I'll go into it in a little bit later, explain everything. Number two, follow up systems. Okay, and then number three, wh where we're at is what I call segmentation marketing. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna talk about propeller number one or two. I'm only gonna focus on propeller number three, which is what I call my sniper rifle marketing. So this is the only thing I'm gonna talk about in this video because it will just take way too long to explain all different modules. So the last is the importance of really zooming in and knowing your audience, okay? The best way to explain this is my analogy of having a shotgun uh, marketing approach. And when I was younger in high school, when I used to do personal training, I used to do the shotgun approach. And what I mean by that is, I used to go to, uh, I used to live in apartments, I used to go to the apartments, print out some flyers, because I didn't have any money. I was in high school, and I would get the flyers, and I would go to the mailing of all the apartments, and I would put my flyers there. And I would shotgun the area where I lived, you know, every apartment. And, I, and the thing was, or sometimes I would even get more braver uh, and I wanted to get my cardio in. And so I would do stairs and do door to door. So what I would do is I would shotgun the area. I was just like blast, blast the area. The only problem was it took a lot of energy. It took a lot of time and it took a lot of money. But at that time, like I said, I was doing free flyers but I started to spend gas money to get to places. But it took a lot of time and energy and money. So. As times evolved and I became better and better in business, I realized the importance of, instead of doing a shotgun, which basically blankets the area. So let's say if you're an investor, you want to buy houses, you could say, well, I'm going to mail out this whole area. That's a shotgun approach. Or, or I'm going to do door hangers in this area. That's a shotgun approach. Okay. That's one type of shotgun approach. It could be in an area. The other type of shotgun approach is how you do your copywriting. How do you do your writing? Uh, because sometimes when we write, for example, for real estate investors, a shotgun approach says, hey, we buy houses, we close fast. You heard it all the time or you've seen it all the time, okay? That's shotgun approach, okay? It's very, very general. So simply put, a shotgun approach can be a couple of different things. It could be a geographic, or it could be the way you put the goggles on and who your audience is. With the shotgun approach, everybody's your audience. Everybody and their mama is your audience. Anybody that's willing to buy from you is your audience, okay? So that's approach number one. Now, as I spoke earlier, there's three propellers to guarantee you failure is not having systems, marketing systems, not having follow-up, and most importantly, not having segmentation marketing, which is basically the sniper rifle marketing so now let me explain to you guys what the sniper rifle marketing is about okay um, I could use for example 
mail outs, okay? Or before I do that, let's talk about the audience. In the example of the shotgun approach, I said that, hey, my ad might read something like, hey, we buy houses. Or do you want a fast cash offer? That could be my headline. So I'm targeting everybody and their mama. But in the sniper rifle approach, what I do is I zoom in to my audience and I think and I think and I think and I think who's exactly needs my services. Let me give you some examples. I'm gonna give, there, there's a lot of different segmentations of niches of pools that I found that are like money makers. A lot of people are willing to just go to the auction or you know, or just do the same thing everybody else does. But I found out that that's kind of hard work. But if you segmentize, if you break down your audiences, you really know who your audience is and you really focus in, then you could make ads specifically tailored to them. You can make ads that are specifically trigger points for them because you really know your audience. You, you dealt with them so, so long and so many times. And so let me give you an example, a couple of examples. I'm not going to list you all of it. Uh, there's like, I can't remember the top of my head, I'm freestyling, but probably like 14 to 22 um, audience type that I have that I've broken down into little pieces and I've made my marketing assets or my marketing materials physically laser targeted just for their needs, just for their wants, just for their fears uh, because I've dealt with it so much. And so let's go to a couple of them. I'm not going to give you all of them. If you want it, holler at me. I do have the postcards that I use, my postcard system, um, which is amazing. If you don't have it, definitely get it. Uh, it's it's going to be coming out in the next couple of days. But one of the targeting system audiences, for example, it could be divorces. Okay. So instead of the shotgun, you're like, hey, I buy houses to everybody and their mama. The segmentation, one segmentation would be, for example, divorces. People that are going to divorce. So what does that mean? Well, one, when I make my content, I specifically tar target people going to divorces, okay? From my headline to my body. Like in the body, I have pressure points, I have pains, I have solutions that that specific audience is gonna benefit from. Where if I took that exact same solution and I give it to a different segmentation, it's not gonna work at all because it's not their pain body. It's not their uh, cure for all problem, okay? So the power of segmentations is the ability to put in your zoom goggles, zoom into your audience, and become one by one with them. Put yourself in their shoes and know exactly how they feel when they go to a divorce what is their pressure points? Are they financially motivated? Are they emotionally motivated? Etc. guys, okay? And so the content that I have, the way I target my audience is that, as I explained to you guys earlier, how you could make $100,000 with sending out 100 postcards or letters or less. And the reason is because I have systems in place. I don't just do what the guys at the Aria Club tell me. I don't just do what the what the guru selling man tells me. Even though those ideas are great, I'm not dissing on it, but if I want to get results, and this guy's telling Bob and Jose and Sally and Julie exactly how to do it, I gotta do something different. And besides, I like to do guerrilla marketing. I like to use no money to make money. I don't like to just risk bunch, throw, throw a bunch of money at something and see if it works, because a lot of time it doesn't work. And I've lost a lot of money. I've learned that creativity, imagination, there's no substitute for that. No matter the amount of money you have, it's gonna be, make it happen. And a great example is, for example, Microsoft, Excitopedia versus Wiki, okay? One is free, the other one, they had all the money. They're the gangsters in the business in Microsoft. And they weren't able to make it where the other one was free, and so it made it, okay? Now, let me give you another segmentation that, that I really like to focus, okay? and. Why do I love to focus on this one? Because it's like fishing in a barrel. It's like, you know, there's a little barrel right here and I see all the fishes and it's not that deep and I could just reach my hand in there and pull out the one that I want, guys. And, and, and I'm not joking, okay? The next segmentation or the rifle approach when you zoom in is the expired uh, home sellers. You know, what happened with these guys or ladies is, you know, before I explain this, let me explain to you like the selling process, guys. 
because people think that you know they teach you like you go talk to a seller and you just give them the contract and you have them sign it like if you're buying like a corn at the Mexican bazaar or something right it's not it's not that kind of simple transaction it's to sell your home is a very complex transaction that is not very fast there's a lot of buyers remorse there's a lot of sellers remorse so if it's, it has to be done delicately it has to take procedures to get it done it's not like you know you go up there and you're a slicky salesman and and you just take the guy's car and, and you never see him again no it takes a long time to do it because they have to talk to their wife or husband they have to get their kids out of the school they got to pack they got to find a place to live they got to qualify for a loan so it's a very long process ladies and gentlemen um, and so it doesn't just work like hey here's my pitch and give it to me or I do one cold call I just send out one letter and, and I talk to them and then here's my house no very small percent of people are willing to just give you the house the other 90% you have to have these three propellers that I talked about, which is having a market system, marketing system, having great follow-up systems, and then your, your understanding and experience and copywriting ability and knowing how to write sales letters and how to sell uh, to come up with the segmentation part. Um, for, for one reason, for example, there's a lot of people that know how to be a great writers but these guys don't or these girls don't know how to sell so just because you're a great writer doesn't mean you're a great copyright sales writer so there's a big difference okay um, that's hard to explain everything's well I'm gonna write my own copy and I send it out and I don't get any deals so it doesn't work no dude first of all you didn't follow my my advice on how to send make a hundred thousand dollars only send out a hundred by, by using my filtering system, okay? Two, you didn't do that, so you, you have to spend a lot of money, you gotta dig, dig, to find one little gold, okay? But if you use my filtering system, you get that list, you run it to my filtering system, they start calling you, you use my seller phone script, you squeeze it more, and then all you have is the cream of the crop, then you start marketing to them, okay? Now, if, with these cream, if you don't know what the fuck to do, you don't know how to write, then that's okay, you're still gonna get 10% of those, okay? But if you wanna get the other 90, then you have to, you can't be using the yellow cards, ladies and gentlemen, like everybody else does, or just have your shit look like everybody else. You know, you gotta do something different, and that's what my system does, guys. That's what my coaching does, is allow you to do stuff that other people don't do, which allows you to decrease your expenditure and maximize your profit. Because who wants to spend $5,000 or $10,000 in marketing to make X amount of money when you could do the same amount of X amount of money, maybe for $500, maybe for free, or maybe for a grand. So that's the key. The key is not to be, just throw money at it and think it's gonna work. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna buy this list and just mail to everybody and I'm gonna buy this other list. I'm gonna mail, cause, because you gotta be pretty rich and for the average person that has a full-time job or two jobs or they're trying to make a better life or just graduate college, that's really not possible. For somebody that has you know multi-million dollar business, they've been in business for a while, sure, that's feasible, but just not for the average investor. So what I'm showing you is your ability to put this much money in, get this much profits by using these three propellers which is the marketing system the follow-up system and then the segmentation system okay and I've given you two hey guys I've given you two segmentation audiences that you should definitely be focusing into okay the number one was divorces okay number two expired sellers because they've already gone to that psychological aspect of hey I'm gonna sell my home and now they came to a point and then they hired you know a professional to sell their home for whatever reason maybe the professional wasn't good maybe they priced their house wrong maybe the house doesn't pass inspection maybe so many other fucking reasons who knows dude but now they, they hired a professional they're all happy they're all motivated emotionally in their mind they're like yeah I'm gonna sell my house I'm ready to move okay and they're looking for different places and then boom two months goes by six months goes by or whatever it is and they don't sell their home for whatever reason and now they want to move but they're like okay so they still want they still have that problem it's, that problem hasn't got solved and that's why if you segment if you do the rifle 
sniper rifle approach and you just target these people you don't have to spend so much money like the shotgun and get the whole neighborhood okay and then if you use my filtering system that I talk about you don't even have to hit the whole list because you're only gonna hit the cream of the crop okay now that is two um, specific audiences that I talk to you I do have a bunch more and the more important thing is I actually have marketing assets that segments each one of these like for example the next one like out-of-state owners okay so I could go on and on and on but it just it will take so much time and so I have different marketing material with different letterheads with different content that not only makes you the authority to the seller but not only does it teach the seller options that he or she has to sell their home that makes you a superhero but more importantly, it sells it for you, it closes it for you, and by the time the seller reach out to you for the second or third time now, the deal is yours. Assuming that you know what you're doing and you have the seller questionnaire form that I have and, and you're asking them and you know how to structure deals because what, what I just showed you, you're gonna be able to spend this much money and get this much return. Where if you do the shotgun approach, you're just gonna have to be a, you know, a bank of America per se to have that kind of money or you're willing to just borrow money to get into debt what I just showed you how to do is not to get into debt just spend a couple hundred bucks that you have and really focus and know your customers now some of you guys say well hey man if I really focus into this for example the uh, expires what if I there's not enough deals for me dude trust me dude there's enough deals for you okay because the more you focus in the more you understand your audience, the more you understand what their fears are, what they're physically going through, how to help them, how to solve their problem, the more you become a master at that part, the better, the more deals you're gonna get. You're gonna get more deals than you can't handle. You're gonna be like back in the days like me where I had more deals than I want. I would just cherry pick in the rest. I was just trash because I didn't want it, dude, okay? So you could be in a position where you have more deals than you can handle. And for some of you guys or ladies, that's a great thing because this thing called wholesaling. You could wholesale these deals out and make two grand, three grand, five grand, ten grand, twenty grand, whatever. Depends on the deal, depends on the market you guys are at. Okay, so now let me summarize it up for you guys. There's three propellers in this business to be successful. Okay? Lead generation, conversion, exit strategy. Alright? In the lead generation, there's also there's three propellers in there. Propeller number one is you gotta have marketing systems. And in this video, I really didn't touch how important it is to have marketing systems. You know, there's guys and girls that I see on Facebook, they, they leave a message, they say, well, I, you know, I get a deal here and I don't get a deal again. Or it takes me a while to get a deal. Or how can I get it to go like this? Well, that's because you don't have a marketing system. Plus, you don't have the propeller number two, a great follow-up system. Um, I was just reading this book from this very smart individual and he was saying that most salespeople in America, you know, only about 20% of them will reach out to their clients or their customers five to seven times, okay? The rest, the rest of the herd, the rest of the 75% of real estate investors, realtors, whatever sales business you are, photographer, whatever you are, you're not gonna, you're only gonna reach out to your customer once, maybe twice, maybe three times. That's it, dude. And guess what? Guess who gets that? majority of the deals that 20% that reaches out to the customers five seven times they get 80% of the deals so if that makes any sense so that is why it's so important to have a great follow-up system guys now if you go on my website I do have the autoresponder it's a great follow-up system and the reason it's so great is because it's an autopilot guys your only job is to drive traffic to your website they put their email in there and it goes in autopilot for two or three years depends on how you configure it okay and and in that autopilot you're building credibility you're building expertise and it's doing automatically you could be on vacation in a sense all you got to do is if you're on vacation you just got to be able to pick up your phone or you got to have a VA in place to pick up their phone because once people call they're gonna be motivated and you got to be like gash the ball because if you don't you're gonna fumble and all that time and energy you put in there, you don't get a deal, ladies and gentlemen. So having a great follow-up system is a must, but I didn't talk about that. I didn't talk about 
marketing systems. I didn't talk about greatly help, uh, follow systems, but I did really talk about really greatly about market segmentation, being able to use a sniper rifle to really target into your audience, in this case, home sellers, so you get the maximum amount of profit with the least amount of money invested in marketing, guys. Now, does anybody have any questions? Awesome, guys. Thanks for liking the videos. Please like, please share, please comment, and tell your friends and family about me. See you.